Thanks so much again for coming to check out another video. So in this video, we are going to go through the process of registering a domain and organizing your hosting for your website. Now, the system that I use is NetOrigin. NetOrigin is an Australian company that is here based in Perth. And we have been using them for, well, I personally have been using them for about four years and they are fantastic. They've never uh, let me down. The owner is Blake. Blake, if you're watching, hey buddy. Um, this, it's not a, it's not a plugin for him. It's just the fact that with all the different servers with GoDaddy and crazy domains and all them out there, this is probably the most personalized team of people who really care about their domain and hosting, which is what matters a lot to me. And the fact that they're from Australia itself, and I know that the server is located here makes a bit of a difference in saying all that. Let's create one. Now I'm interested in, as you know, the gimbal. And so I'm going to write in gimbal and do a search for that word and see what comes up. Now, this takes me straight away to the order form page where choosing the product, which is a domain and domain registration is what I'm organizing to do. Now, gimbal.com.au is not available. So the product, as you know, is from a certain company and that company, we, I've had discussions with them and they are very comfortable with me working with them to use their name and be able to brand them to be able to be their supplier here in Australia. So they run with the smooth cube called Zuin. So I'm going to tag that in and go for the .com.au. Their actual company is called Zuin-Tech. But I feel that from an SEO point of view, when people are searching in Google, they're typing in Gimbal or they're typing in SmoothQ. So based on that, I'm going to go with Gimbal dash the company so that they will be able to find the SmoothQ within this range. As you can see, it's available. So the domain is available and it's given me two years at 25 bucks. So that's pretty awesome if, you, if I think so myself. Now, after I confirm that purchase, I now need to organize hosting. So I do not have hosting. So I'm going to choose between these two hosting arrangements. Now, what's the difference between standard and elite? You may say the biggest difference mainly is the amount of traffic you're going to send through that site. So here is a quick look of what they provide with the standard at $8 a month. You're going to get $10, 10 gigabytes worth of storage around 8,000 pages of your website. You get about 200 gigabytes of transfer data. That's including videos, pictures, forums, posts, all that stuff. Or you can expect to handle up to 10,000 visitors per month. They're both Australian hosted and that's a pretty decent, that's look, that's pretty, that's pretty solid. Alternatively, if you went to elite, you could be looking at almost triple that, uh, Again, you'd be looking at almost just over double for the monthly transfer data, or you can do 150,000 visitors. Right now, the average website startup can handle, or does realistically, if you're really good, 500 visitors a month until you can build up your traffic base. But if you're smashing out of the park, then yeah, you could be looking at maybe around 5,000, 6,000 to be doing awesome sales conversions. But to be honest, 100,000 a month, that's enough. So standard will definitely do the job. So we're gonna order now the standard hosting, but I'm not gonna go for monthly. I'm gonna personally do quarterly because to pay every three months sounds a lot better than paying a little bit every couple of months. Plus that also affects the price. So if you do look at the price numbers on that, let's see if we go back a sec. Will it let us? Cool. So if we're looking at $23.97, you're thinking, man, that's it's all adding up. It's a lot of money. If we compare it to Shopify, for example, and say you want to set up a Shopify account instead, 
where all this might be a little bit easier. How much would it cost to set up an account? Well, monthly price for absolute basic is $29 each month. And that does not include the retail package of an extra 49 bucks that you got to set up. So if you're looking at that, 49 plus your 29, which is 30 bucks every month, $78 for the first, and then 30 bucks for the month after that. If you're doing it with the control of your own site, then you're looking at 23.97 divided by three months. You're looking at the same thing, 7.99 every three months. It's not bad. It's not bad. You're literally paying eight dollars a month compared to thirty bucks a month. Yeah, I know where I'm going. You also are doing a couple extra steps, but honestly, I think it's the best way of value for dollars. Also, you have a lot more control. Now it's asking me now, where do I want this hosting to be connected to? Do I want the head web hosting to be connected to the domain in the shopping cart, which is kimble-win.com.au? Or do I want to register a new one if I hadn't done that step? Or do I want to transfer it across my domain to NetOrigin? So if I had a different domain somewhere else and I wanted to use it, say it was with GoDaddy or something like that, I can use NetOrigin just for domains. I mean, just for the hosting, apologies. Or if I wanted to transfer the domain or keep the domain with GoDaddy or Crazy Domains, I could still send the hosting to GoDaddy or Crazy Domains if I wish. Personally, because it's all in one place, it makes life a heck of a lot easier. So with the domain and the hosting together, we'll click continue. And yes, I'm very comfortable with that. I think that's fine. Now, I now have to put in the company registration of my business. So I'm gonna put in here what it is. It's Keepspace. And then the registered ID, which is the ID type will be the ABN. Put that through. All right, cool. So then now the domain and hosting, we're gonna go through that, pay for this. Now it's asking me to create an account here to pay for this amount. Now, right now I already have an account, so I'm gonna quickly skip through all this and log in. So it tells me that it's been completed, but it has not been paid. So you can check out here your client area, which you just signed in. Or you can check out the tax invoice. I will definitely open up both. So it's showing here the invoice. We also sent a letter in the mail. So in hi, we wish to let you know that the invoice has been generated for this amount and your method of payment is the credit card. Alternatively, our bank details are provided, blah, blah, blah. So then it will show me the invoice that they have just gone through to make, which shows unpaid. All the details of the company and then where that's going through for net origin to make the payment for. So now let's go through and get this paid. So. Remember there was two links. Now this is the back end of your site, but I also opened up the link that showed it. I would normally click that, but if you didn't click this link to get to that page, you can go to invoices and in invoices, it will show you an unpaid invoice at the top. You can click that and it will take you to the same page. So I'm going to do the pay now button Now with my details on file, let's see what happens. Boom, done, cool. 
We have some notification emails that have also come through. Origin, hi, Jesse, how you going? This is your website, it's all here. This information is pretty generic, but do keep it, it's pretty important. Uh, it says, thank you for choosing your hosting standard for this site. Tells you the cPanel details for you to log in, if you wanna go through that. Uh, then it tells you how to get through to the cPanel, yeah, hosting name, passwords, email settings. So including this, you can get your emails now set up, which is super awesome, and we'll go through that. And your domain name servers. So now that's all done, you now have officially your hosting and domain in your account. Congratulations. The way you can see that is in your admin panel section. There it is there. Your gimbals domain enabled. Since of this date, you do not need to pay until 2019, two years later. And then for the hosting, there it is there. Standard web hosting every three months. Next payment is in November and it's active. And there you go. You are now the proud owner of a site called gimbalszuen.com.au with absolutely nothing on it. So I hope this video was helpful. That is how you set up the basic hosting and domain. For the next video, I will show you how to log in, work, upload the latest WordPress to the site so you can now run your site as you see fit. If you liked this video, please add a thumbs up and a like and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.